What's up everyone? So I decided to make a video series on how to deploy VPN side to side with Checkpoint and other vendors. And we're going to deploy side to side VPN with Checkpoint Gateway, with another Checkpoint Gateway, a remote gateway uh, that is being managed or is going to be managed locally on main site and we're going to establish site site vpn with a fortigate and asa so you can see in topology we have uh kind of four sites uh we have site a b c and d and we'll be uh operating from the headquarters site where i have a gateway uh checkpoint gateway uh and the management server and smart console the gateway D, it's another checkpoint firewall and we're going to add this one to be managed by uh, the management server on headquarter. So you can see the address space, uh, it's kind of simple. Uh, locally, I'm using 192.168.1.2.3.4 and at the ISP or outbound connection, I'm using 192.1.1.1.2.1.3.1.4 uh, to connect to the outside interface of the firewalls. Okay, so here we have the smart console and we have few rules right now. As you can see, we have one allowing the management server to reach any destination and it has also net enabled on the management server. Uh, object and that's static net so I want that the outbound uh, IP for the measurement server to be 192.1.1.2 and I have another rule stating that local network at headquarters 192.168.1 is allowed to reach any destination on these services and we can test this uh i have r4 sitting uh in the middle like uh, the gateway internet and if we try to connect to it so let's try to tell matt to it 19211 and i should be able to connect and i am successfully connected so you can see I'm using uh, gateway A external IP address. Okay, so that's great. Uh, so now what we have to do is to manage or to add gateway D to be managed by this uh, management server. I have already installed Guy operating system on that gateway and already configure a uh, first time configuration wizard. So right now all we have to do is to add the gateway and make um, the change required to make that site operational. So let's add a new gateway. So we're going to click on more, network object, gateways and servers, gateway, and we're going to choose classic mode. and we're going to type the host name for this object just to make it easy to identify i'm going to choose a different color so i'm going to select green and it's ip it's external ip it's 192.1.4.254 and let's uh, establish seek Okay, that's great. Six established successfully. Now we should get the interfaces. So we have 192.1.4, that's external, and 192.168.4, that's ex internal interface. So let's just confirm that. And that's external, that's right, and this one is internal. That's awesome. And I want to enable monitoring as well. So everything is okay, so let's just press OK and this object is going to be added. Now to make it easy to manage, uh, we're going to add another policy package for this gateway. 
so manage policies and layers we're going to add a new one and i'm going to call it gateway d policy and i want to disable threat prevention collection target is going to be uh on gateway d let's change the color to green let's make it uh easy to identify and press ok and let me just confirm that uh, the name is similar to gateway a policy that's great and we can close this now let's add some rules so on top of that I'm going to add a new rule and the first one i want to allow the management server public ip to reach this gateway so i'm going to name it sms uh to gateway d and source is going to be um let me see uh uh and source is going to be on uh, the management server public ip address 192.1.1.2 okay that's what we want this nation can be any any service and let me close this i want to allow and i want to enable logs for this one and for cleanup rule let me use this a little bit okay another rule is going to be to allow the local network to reach uh, the internet so i'm going to add a new rule above this one i'm going to name it uh allow let's going to make plan to internet and i have to add uh, a network object for this lan and that's going to be 192.168.40 and i like to use the what the mask length uh, at the object name as well let's change the color to green and here we're going to type the subnet or zero uh, slash 24 and we want to add NAT uh, dynamically behind the gateway D okay that's great and it can reach any destination and we want to accept now I want to be specific for uh, which services so I'm going to select HTTP and HTTPS and I want to see logs for this one as well so I believe that's everything needed and we can install this policy on gateway D this policy installation will fail and I believe that's because of the order of operation so we first have to install the policy on gateway A and there is another rule that i have to add here to make this work and then it will be our uh, gateway d to sms we have to allow gateway d to reach um the management server public ip so and we're going to select to end service and we're going to enable logs as well so now let's install this policy on gateway a first the policy was installed successfully on gateway d so now let's test the access from lan to r4 and see if everything is working as it is supposed to well, actually I noticed that I didn't add telnet so let's add telnet real quick and install the policy again on gateway D so this should shouldn't take long and from R6 we should be able to telnet to R4 
and that should be one for one and we are able to log on to r4 which means that this site it's working okay so now let's start with the vpn configuration so first thing we have to enable the vpn blade on both gateways so we'll start with gateway a I'm going to enable ipsec and on network management tab vpn domain we want to select the network uh that is going to be part of this domain and it's going to be local network and just to make it easy uh it's a good practice to select the link that will be used to terminate the vpn session so i'm going to select the outside interface of the gateway and we're going to press ok and we have to do the same for gateway d and we're going to enable ipsec blade network management vpn domain user define and it's going to be a uh, site uh, d local network on uh, ipsec link selection is going to be the external interface and this is done now on vpn communities uh, we're going to select the vpn community that exists by default and we're going to add both gateways and we want to uh, deploy the rules uh, using the rule base and the encryption we're going to leave default and advanced we want to disable not inside the VPN community so this is done now we have to prevent traffic uh, leaving uh, these sites to be translated by the gateway so we have to create uh, a net policy to prevent that and has to be on top and we're going to name it no net and it has to be for both networks so which means we have to create a network group and we're going to name it uh, no net uh, checkpoint and it's just going to make it red and it's going to be uh, 192, 168, uh, 1, and 4 network. Okay, and we're going to add this object as the destination, which means traffic from this network to this network won't be translated. And we're going to copy this rule, and we're going to paste on gateway a policy package I'm going to paste them both okay awesome and now we have to add a rule for this vpn i'm going to add above the land to internet rule and we're going to name it uh, site to site um site a uh, to, so it's just going to be a site to D, site to site, site A, to site B, and let me add underscore here. And the networks will be 192.168.1 to 192.168.4. And we want this to be bidirectional and we're going to allow all services and we're going to accept and here in vpn we have to select specific vpn communities and we're going to select my intranet and we want to enable logging for this and we're going to copy this and paste on gateway d policy package we're going to paste above this one and that's great okay so everything should be okay now so let's install the policy first on gateway a uh, 
Okay, so let me install the policy. Okay, and click on install. Now we can start installing the policy as well on uh, Gateway D. So the pulse installation gateway is already completed. So it gives some time for gateway D pulse installation. Didn't take long. Okay, it's successful. So now from Smart Console PC that is sitting on the network 192.168.1. We should be able to tell that to R6. So let me bring the prompt here and tell that to 192.168.46. And we are in. So let me type the password and we can confirm that this is using the local address. So we're using the VPN to connect to r6 and we can confirm these on the logs as well so let me open the log tab and we can see here that traffic is being encrypted from 192.168.13 to 192.168.46 and that's it guys we were able to successfully deploy a vpn site to site between a locally managed uh, checkpoint gateway with a remote uh, managed checkpoint gateway i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one